What's good, CNE Squad? It's your boy Cameron. And your girl Edith. And we are back with another video. Yes. Look, guys, today we're gonna be doing a little Thanksgiving leftover mukbang, y'all. I made all of this from scratch, y'all. So we got the sweet potatoes or yams. We got the sweet yeah. potato Same yams. yams. <laughs> we got the turkey and we got some mac and cheese and we got some. Hey, top of the line stuffing. She made this stuffing from I know, scratch. Cameron like loves my stuffing. It's one thing I always have to do. For it's good. For him. It's really, really good. Thanks. It is. So Eden, what are we going to be talking about today? So Cameron's going to be letting us know what made me different from his ex-girlfriends. Ooh, that's a tough little question. <laughs> I hope something made me different. I haven't put too much thought into that, but we, hey, hey, hey. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. Got, uh, I got, I got, I got some answers for you. I'm gonna let you know exactly why you was the one. So. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you guys are ready for this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're new. Click that post notification bell because we post every single day. And smash the like button for us. Hope y'all all had a good Thanksgiving. Let's go ahead and break bread real quick. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for this food, Lord. We just thank you. Thank you that we're able to spend another day together and pray that you just continue to look over us and bless us. In Father Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you always. Amen. Amen. All right. So I'm going to jump into the yams real quick. <laughs> The yams are by mm. far the best part of any holiday. It's basically because they're like dessert, though, I think. But my food got cold because we've been waiting to film this video, so I'm going to have to warm this up. All right, y'all, so. Now that he has hot food. Got to have that hot so food. So picky. Mmm, that's just right. <laughs> that is just right. <laughs> so why do you want to know what I made you different from my exes? I want to know, like, why you picked me over other girls you dated. I didn't pick you. Life picked you. I mean, you picked me. Yeah, I picked you. <laughs> you had to pick me. I mean, I think you just came into my life at the right moment. I didn't just like just straight up pick you. Oh, I just, so you, you, were, you were like nothing, the one for me. So there you was me? nothing special about me. I just no, came in at the right moment. Obviously, there was something special about you. There's a lot of things special about you. Go on. I guess we start with, <laughs> with we'll start with what made my exes not the one. Okay. okay. There we go. There we go. This has nothing to do with me. At least this part right here. Yeah, so no, it has a lot to do with you. Okay. okay. So, when you first met me, right? Mm hmm. Not when you first met me, but when, like, when we connected and actually started, like, you know, dating or whatever, right? Yeah. You do remember, like, my apartment and the setup of it, right? I do, yeah. It was nothing. <laughs> I had nothing in my apartment. Yeah. I wasn't broke, I had the money. I just was living a bachelor life, and I mean, I was hardly ever there anyway, so. I just didn't have anything in my apartment. I didn't have no furniture or anything like that. I had a sofa, a little a little IKEA coffee table, and a TV. It was basically just a sofa and a TV, and you did not have the coffee table until later. I had the coffee table. It was just a little IKEA talk coffee table. Well, you know the, what table I actually didn't have, but I'm gonna get to that. Hold up. So, when you came to my apartment, what was your impression? Nothing. I didn't think anything about it. <laughs> Exactly. Boom, boom, boom. Hint, hint. That shows that you actually aren't a girl about money and just want something from me in regards to that, right? Other girls will probably come to my place and be like, where is your stuff at? You know, and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was cool. I don't know. Whatever. You had a bed and you had a couch. Mm -hmm. We was in there. So why she thought it was cool, I, I like that about you, right? It made me actually go out and buy a table. I bought a table like literally a week after we started and even hanging out. when he out. told me he was gonna go buy a table, I was like, it's not necessary. <laughs> if she's gonna be coming over, we need a table to eat at. You know what I'm saying? I so, like eating on the couch anyway. I got a table and everything, but also, all these other girls, they were just really, really immature. I saw a lot of maturity in you. Huh. <laughs> even for your age. I do remember he told me that. He told me that Shortly after we started, like, kind of like dating, he was like, oh, you're really mature for your age. And I was like, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Until I got to know her, and then I found out she wasn't that immature. No, the funny immature. thing is he calls me immature, like, all the time now, so I'm not sure what changed, but here we so are. So you're mature in different ways, right? <laughs> in different ways you're mature. The ways that actually count and matter. Got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Other girls, I don't know. First of all, I didn't get that. You have the it factor. Oh. The it factor. <laughs> and the it factor is really, really hard to what explain. What is the it factor? It's really, really hard to explain. 
Like, like your particular it factor or just like an it factor in general? The it factor. Everybody has like that it factor, right? And it's going to be different for everybody. But the it factor is like, you the one. You know, you the one. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has the it factor. I hope I, I hope I had the it factor for you, you know? Of course you did. That's why we're married. But you had the it factor for me. So, you know? and your other girlfriends didn't have the it factor. They didn't have the it factor. No matter how long we dated or whatnot. And I always dated with the intention to marry. I never got to the point where I was just like, you know, I want to marry this girl or anything like that. And I dated girls for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he actually dated me, I think, the shortest mm -hmm. out of all of his girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've been together. Have we been together the longest now? Or no? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> we've been together the longest now. Boom. Because your other girlfriends were, what, like, three years? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, three years, but it really, like, near the two and a half year mark, that's when things used to, like, their true personalities and true colors show. It's like, you know that's what I mean? That's true. That's true. So, uh, do I, have I changed at the three year mark? <laughs> you gotten better. I've gotten better. Yeah, because you was rough in the beginning. What do you mean I was rough? <laughs> you were rough in the beginning. You was rough in the beginning. <laughs> you got a lot better. I'd file them down, train mm -hmm. them, y'all. But, I don't know, it was something very, very different about you. My friends knew something was different about you. I remember I had a friend come and visit she was a girl that was my friend. One of my best friends. She was like, she was my road dog, like for real, for real. And she was like, Cam, you treat her so different than any other other chick. You know what I'm saying? Because she's seen me around other chicks. She's known, she's known every single girlfriend that I've had, basically. She was like, you treating her way different. Like, what's up with that? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, apparently he like talks to me differently or like softer than he talks to like, I don't know, other people like... Like, even when he talks to his friends on the phone, I was like, I didn't... <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> talk to me the way he, like, talks to his friends. Mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, you looked a lot better than everybody I dated, so... <laughs> Thank you. I'm not saying they were ugly, you know what I'm saying? At all. I mean, some of them looked pretty good, I'm just saying, but you was, you was fire, you know what I'm saying? Thank you me. had the it factor. <laughs> it factor a look thing, too? It factor is a total package. Mm. This stuff is cheesy, y'all. All right. Could they cook better than me? <laughs> I won't be offended if he says yes. I'm going to say they can't. I mean, the way you made the stuffing and all that stuff? No. Ooh. Mm -mm. He used to talk about my cooking when we first got together. You got to understand because <laughs> girls don't cook things with, like, passion. They just do it because they, they feel like they're, they're supposed to. I had a lot of girls who felt like they were supposed to, so they would cook for me. And that wouldn't that wouldn't ever add up to your food tasting really, really good or anything like that. Because you're just doing it out of, this is something that I'm supposed to do. Not something that you did it out of, I really want to cook for my husband. So, or my man. So, yeah, you got a lot better. Because in the beginning, you was a, uh, it was a no. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. But that's all right. That's all right. I did get better. This whole Thanksgiving, actually the first time I cooked Thanksgiving, I think I did I. Right? Mm -hmm. I did I. The yeah. yams are pretty eh. I got better with you the yams. You cooked it last year too. I know, I know, I know. Yes, last year was pretty good. So I burnt the stuffing last year, so that was a no-go. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, like, as far as like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like, cause I didn't put out a lot of stuff about my exes. I didn't just kind of just put it out my head or whatever, but, I mean, obviously they were all annoying, you know, but... <laughs> I don't know, I guess, like, personality-wise, what about their personality made them, like, nah, like, I don't want to date that girl, but, like, or marry that girl, but I can marry this girl. Some were stuck up. I don't like any type of stuck up personality. And there was girls who were stuck up who had no reason to be stuck up. You know what I'm saying? They weren't stuck up to me, but they were stuck up to other people, and I don't like that, because... How you treat other people is how you, how you are to me. You know what I'm saying? I'd say that's true. Yeah. You always had an open heart toward everybody. You know? You are always about putting others in front of you. So, I, I like that about you. I'm other people weren't. They were always yeah. about self-gain. You know? Mmm. That feels good, though. I was going to say, how's the mac? He doesn't like mac and cheese, but... 
Mm -hmm. it's, all right. it's all right. I like the uh, crumbles or whatever it is on top of it. Mm. Parmesan, panko, breadcrumbs. Combination, <laughs> y'all. You can take the recipe. I would have to say, the thing, I mean, like, it's just the it factor. It's really, really hard to explain the it factor. I know, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, like the it factor. Did your other girlfriends know how to game? What do you mean game? Game, can they play video games? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> so you got that down pack as well. Boom. I, I don't know, it's just like something that you're like, this person is meant for me. When I saw you, I was like, this person is meant for me. It's you, like, it was like love at first. Well, I guess it was a love at first sight, but like love at first, like recite. Yeah, at recite. <laughs> when, when, when I finally had it out of my mind that I wasn't going to date you and stuff like that, and you know, I had an open mind. Man, so he had it in his mind. He wasn't going to date me. Mm-hmm. But when you reappeared, it was, yeah, it was like love at first sight. To tell you the truth, it was really love at first sight. I saw you and it was just something about it, everything, <laughs> how everything went down even the next day and next coming weeks and stuff like that. It was just like a fairy tale. I was I was deer in <laughs> headlights in love. He was like a lot more affectionate that first night we got back, back together. And he probably was the whole time like we were together, which was like really like, I thought we were just kind of like going out like as friends and he wasn't really going to like touch me. No, I, like, I had to lock you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I thought was gonna happen from the night, but like as soon as we like got there, his like arms are around me, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I had to lock you up. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Go I literally longer. thought we were going as friends. Like I literally thought like there was like not gonna be any like, I don't know. I thought, I thought I, we were too until you showed up at my door. <laughs> when you showed up, I was like, yeah, that's out. That's out the way. The funny thing is, y'all, he had a six pack back then, mind you. And I remember sitting in his place and I was looking at him and I was like, oh, maybe I should have dated this guy when I had the chance. And now, because in my mind, I was thinking I didn't have the chance anymore because I figured we were just friends now. Mm -hmm. But then like literally like 10 minutes later, we're like making out, so. Mm. <laughs> That's another story, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know, it was just, you've lived up to everything that I've expected from you. I mean, through the bad times and all that stuff, you've lived up to, to more than what other people would have. You know what I mean? I never trusted anybody to the extent that I trust you. Aww. I, feel, I literally felt like a lot of people were out there for, for self-gain. You know, they saw that I could do this or do that. Or, and, you know, they, they thought I was going to have a successful future. And they figured, hey, you know, let me let me get with him, you know? You know, and, and I look nice on him. <laughs> I'm just trying to get with your boy, so. <laughs> I just felt, uh, I, I didn't feel comfortable with them as far as like ever getting married to them. Like, he, I do remember him telling me he felt really like safe around me. Mm -hmm. Like, he would like fall asleep around me and he would say he didn't like fall asleep around people he doesn't trust mm -hmm. because I mean, I could just like, you know, steal stuff, I guess. <laughs> you gotta understand, yeah. You gotta understand that I've, don't like people inside my personal space and personal bubble. So, like, there's been, like, ex-girlfriends that, like, try to, like, you know, cuddle with you or, you know, touch you. And you're just like, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. It, it just don't feel right, you know? That's true. Actually, I always thought cuddling with people was, like, super, super, super uncomfortable. He's the only guy I've cuddled with that I'm like, maybe because I liked him so much, I just, like, work through the uncomfortableness. <laughs> The only guy mm -hmm. I've cuddled up, I'm like, oh, it's actually comfortable. Usually I'm like, eh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got any more questions in regards to that? Hmm. I don't know. I think you kind of answered them all. I wanted to know about the cooking. I wanted to know personality-wise. That has nothing to do with <laughs> what made you different. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I figured you were looking for, like, what made you the one. But I, if you want to go, like, straight down, like, the well, differences and specific, stuff like that. that. Specific, you already, I don't know. You said I had the it factor, but you can't explain the I mean, there's, the been, there's been ghetto girls. You know what I'm saying? The girl that I was, I would, I didn't date her, but the girl I was, like, hanging around right before we started hanging around. I mean, full sleeve tattoos, all that stuff. Long nails. She was hood. Hawthorne. 
Hawthorne, uh, California. She was hood. <laughs> so what, did you like my innocence? My Irvine I, innocence? I liked your innocence, you know? Definitely liked your innocence. <laughs> but you seem legit. Nobody else seemed legit. I just seemed legit. Explain legit. The it factor. Like I'm just like, like I like what you see is what you get. Like I'm not hiding anything. Like you're not I'm hiding. Not you're not hiding much from me, okay, you know? Okay. And you feel like other people were like sneaky. Like they, they might've been hiding stuff. They're sneaky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they have other motives, you know? They have other motives. Like, for example, one girl literally was just like, I remember when I, <laughs> when I broke up with her, maybe it was before I broke up, but she said something about you know, uh, I'm looking to get married and you seem like, you know, one of my only chances to do that. So, you know, that's what I'm here for. Like, wow. Okay, get out. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I don't know. I didn't go into the relationship like expecting anything of you necessarily. Exactly. Except like to treat me well. <laughs> but you didn't come in with expectations. Like other people come up with expectations. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to treat me well and like be nice. But like... <laughs> I mean, I, I've had some straight idiots, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you understand? Like the message I showed you earlier when they said marriages, people are getting married less because of financially stable guys, the shortage of financially stable guys. They're just like, yeah, if you only equate marriage to financials, then I guess that will occur, which most people do. But marriage is not all about financials. And I never wanted I never wanted it to be. Yeah. It's like, yeah, go be successful together and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, also he said he told me once that he liked the fact that I didn't I didn't expect him to pay for the meal when we were on dates. I didn't. I didn't expect you to pay for the meal. I had you gotta understand this out here. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's it's just it's just people <laughs> people are ruthless. Sorry for those of y'all in the dating world. It's not horrible out there. <laughs> Dating more is horrible. Get out as soon as you can. <laughs> Get out while you still can. As soon as you can. You got time wasters. You got everything out here. You know what I mean? You don't want none of that. So, I don't know if that explains it to you. You were beautiful. I felt like you had a really, really kind heart. Other people weren't as kind as you. And I mean like truly kind, not fake kind on the outside and stuff like that. They were kind to me. I ain't gonna say. They were kind to me. Yeah. But it showed when they talked about other people and stuff like that. I was just like, that's not the one for me. Yeah. You know? I want those people. Because on the inside, that's what you, you show your true colors when you really start vibing with somebody. They really start vibing with me. Boom. True yeah. colors. Because when you're comfortable around someone, you just start saying whatever, you know? And so that's when, that's when you really see what that person be about. Exactly. Exactly. Just like that. So, I mean, that's all I saw, you know, is in regards to that. It was just, you were real. You seemed like somebody I, I really, really wanted to get to know. Because you were so true and innocent. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we just vibe together. It is it is hard to like put into words. Like when you find someone that you just like go well with. There together. it goes. That's the it factor. You, you, you look like somebody and felt like somebody that I could survive with the rest of my life. That I could survive with no, no matter what. Through thick and thin and all that stuff. I was just like, this is the one that I can survive with. You know? Yeah. I think we compliment each other. Mm -hmm. He's strong where I'm weak, vice versa. Stuff like that. And we're we're opposites like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> we are so opposite. Mm -hmm. I mean we're alike in a whole lot of ways. You and... wouldn't like you wouldn't like think from the outside looking in mm -hmm. honestly that we should be compatible. <laughs> but it works, y'all. And he drinks my drinks all the time. You do the same. <laughs> I don't. You drink so fast, you always come and drink my stuff. Whatever you want to say. Uh, anyway, I'm done with my plate. I think I've answered everything. And yeah, you don't want. I'm happy. One more happy. question. One What's more up? question. How did you know that like, you were in love with me? Did you just like wake up one day and you're like, I love this girl? Or like what? I don't know. Like when did it, when did it like come upon you like I'm in love with her? A hard feeling to explain because it's like you feel like you love somebody in every relationship you get in, right? And then you learn the next time that you weren't really in love, right? You 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 love that person, but you weren't in love with that person. Like starting like out in high school, it's like, man, I love this girl. I love this girl. Next time you get in a relationship, you're like, no, I didn't love her. Like that wasn't real love. This this may be real love, 
you know, it's stronger. But my love for you is like in love for you. That that just won't die. It won't die. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, when you just get around somebody, it wasn't. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah, I, it's I, hard I, to put it in like one moment where you're like, okay, I'm in love now. But before this moment, I, I was in love when I saw you. I know it kind of sounds cliche and all that <laughs> stuff. When you walk through that day, that night that we linked up, I was like, I'm in love. I literally told, look, you gotta understand that I told my boys <laughs> early on, I was just like, I found my future wife. Wow. Like, I, I didn't remember him telling me that. I, I was I was confident that I found my future wife. Now, you had to live up to it from that point. Mm -hmm. And you lived up to it. That's why we got married. But you could have literally broke all the way down after that. But I've never <laughs> said that about anybody. I've never said I found my future wife. I literally called my boys up. Hey, I think I found my future wife. Like after that night? Like <laughs> nah, not, not that night, but, but probably before you went back to school. Before we officially started dating, I was like, I think I found my wife. I'm probably going, I'm going to marry this girl. Aww. You know? Well, I've enjoyed this video. <laughs> it's done wonders for my self-confidence. <laughs> <laughs> what? You you should be confident like a little. What are you talking about? I mean, about? I am. You know, it doesn't hurt to be built up every now and then. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. Let us know how you knew you fell in love with your significant other and how you knew they were the one. And what made them different from the rest of them? Like, if you dated before or whatnot. Like, what made them different? I wish I hadn't have dated. I wish I had got to save all that for you. Everything. Every piece of me, every piece of my heart and all that stuff. You got all my whole heart now. I'm not saying you don't have it. I'm just saying the stuff that I had to go through and stuff like that, that's why you had to deal with that in the beginning when we was dating. That's true. I've never had my heart, like, crushed, you know, since he's, like, the first guy I fell in love with. So, I mean... Have something. It's good that way. <laughs> anyway, y'all, if if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, and the post notification shout out goes to Tina Jones. Thanks for being part of CE Squad and watching all our videos. If you guys would like a post notification shout out too, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, and comment down below. And until next time, we out. Yeah.